Hey everyone, welcome to Higan Iruthil. So, before we go and move to more content, more gameplay, I'd like to give you guys my honest first impressions uh, based on my experience from the previous two CBTs up to now, up to soft launch, and what could be for global. So that is what we are going to be talking about and what it is now specifically how the game has been the evolution of cbt up to soft launch and more or less what i think we need more uh, moving towards global okay so as i established i've been playing since cbt uh this one let's just have a few comments with uh, what the game has at uh, first glance first glance what the game has um, been, you know, uh, evolved or has evolved into. So, so far, the UI is, is kept simple. It's much simpler than before. Not a lot much. And they have, um, they have really taken out a lot of, uh, you know, clicks in terms of where you want to go. It's very simple. You have Adventure and Outland and the rest are down there. So, it's, it's much cleaner. The UI is much cleaner. Um, in terms of um, in terms of uh, how fluid the game is, the gameplay, I think it's the same as CBT as the last CBT or even better. Okay, so also let's uh, go through some of the things that they have improved on this one. Um, the missions they've improved this one. I like the new mission type. And um, I also like how, what do you call this? Um, in terms of the shop as well, it's, it's streamlined more. Um, they hid most of it in the exchange in terms of um, your wish. Also, it's, it's, it's a bit streamlined more or less. And there's a pity counter already. Um, I, I don't remember a pity counter before. What else? Uh, this is at fir first glance. Uh, okay, guys. So, and also let us go through uh, if you have inventory trophy, not that. Because these are just content that was just lying around here. Um, the important content will be on your outland and your adventure. So, if you go to your roster, it's also cleaner. The interface is also cleaner. Um, it's more simplified. I'm not sure if uh, we can still, um, you know, uh, we can still tinker with the equipment. But before there was a a portion where we could um, uh, upgrade equipment up until it uh, adds to our stats. I'm not there yet. Um, we still have to more or less look at it. I think yes, because I've seen um, different phases of the equipment, as you can see here. Um, it actually changes in appearance a little bit. So hopefully we can still tinker with equipment moving forward. But it's not really a big deal as long as the game strategy is actually enjoyable and challenging. I don't really have a, you know, a, um, you know, a problem with that one. So in terms of gameplay, let me just go through one of the gameplays here. Let us go to the ones that I cleared and let's uh, just enter it again. So more or less the gameplay for me is is the core of this game. Um, I wouldn't be playing this if I'm not interested in the game. It's For me, it's a bit unique. It's uh, going to be deployment. Then it's not your usual turn-based uh, RPG. It gives you a lot of decisions in between. So I haven't adjusted my um, video settings yet at this point. So this is your gameplay. We just have to more or less deploy. Check out your formation. Your formation is, is, depend is actually going to add up to your success in a battle it's an auto chess style so auto deployment uh, not auto deployment you deploy then they play out auto then once you're in a fight once you're in a fight here you can really uh, do a lot uh, because you have skills to deploy you can actually put those in auto let's do this times two 
you can actually do a lot here guys um so there you go i'm playing this better actually in my in my mobile i don't know why probably not optimized for a for an emulator but mobile i don't have a problem um so far it has been okay let's do some auto here but my point is um you can really customize um the outcome because you have skills you have um, you have ultimates here and there you go you can also do it in autoplay if you're not into that thing in terms of uh, casting independently so let's go out of here more or less the gameplay the battle system is is actually part um grid play part um what do you call this um action rpg so okay so here we are okay let's uh let's go to the settings first the settings by the way guys is here so we have uh, let's do high fps as you can see it's it has been it hasn't been tinkered with so far and let's go back to settings okay better better as i've said it's not the game's fault it was my fault that i didn't tinker with the settings so again the game is auto chess it has a lot of complex things it's challenging enough that you're gonna be looking for more but it's not going to hamper or disappoint you because you can't progress through okay so more or less uh for the soft launch i'm expecting that there would be better or improvements for global the only reason for me that they're stopping over for soft launch is that they think that there might be improvements for global we're testing it out right now and uh, i hope they do because right now i'm really happy with the game i don't think there are problems with the game itself it's going to be uh, it's going to boil down um towards the developers on how they're going to support the game moving forward i think that is the or only downfall here but as far as the gameplay the game mechanics the overall experience i don't think i have a problem with the game so are there changes subject for global hopefully there would be improvements and uh, the other one again just want to reiterate is that it really depends on the devs moving forward how they're going to support the game how we're how do they want to engage their player base because again there are a lot of upcoming games coming out notably honkai star rail so for me if uh, players will be hooked here there is a good chance that if they release global and players are 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 happier with global before the release of honkai star rail then um they could probably be hooked here so um gameplay wise guys overall i would say nine out of ten probably some minor kinks to um minor minor kinks to adjust but as is the game is very enjoyable uh and i don't really have a problem even for free to play so i'll make another video on that i'll do an, an account overview on what i have right now and what is my free to play experience for day one and um that's it so hope you guys are you know enjoying this game if you're playing already and if you have not played this i hope that you guys will try this out and probably share this with uh, with other with other players again um this game is one of probably the best games for this year if their momentum continues towards global so thank you very much guys for staying this far take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here